So here's an example of a diagnosis that I think MRI is really superior to other diagnostic modalities in terms of making. Now, this is a patient who is suffering from vaginal bleeding, dysmenorrhea, and chronic pelvic pain. Now, you can, as you can see on these images, the uterus is massively enlarged. It's extending way up into the pelvis. Now, when you see a massively enlarged uterus, obviously, I think common things being common, you think about the possibility of uterine fibroids. But if you look at these T2-weighted images in particular, I don't see discrete uterine masses. I don't see things that look like uterine fibroids. Instead, what I see is that the junctional zone is massively thickened, probably 15, 20 millimeters in thickness. And in the midst of that junctional zone, there are multiple T2 bright foci. Now, when I see the junctional zone thickened over 12 millimeters in size, and I see these multiple T2 bright foci, the primary diagnostic consideration is going to be adenomyosis. Now, adenomyosis is a very, very common cause of pelvic bleeding, dysmenorrhea, and pelvic pain. And it's a diagnosis that's very difficult to make on any other diagnostic modality, whether it's ultrasound or CT. Really, if you suspect this modality, MRI is the way to go. Great case of uterine adenomyosis.